Oh, come on. Why are always the bins I pick up bully crap? Hey guys, Johnny and Lauren's back for another episode of Manufactio. Hello. And I'm out by our railway network because we have done a little bit of expansion. We now have a redstone vein over here and another kind of vein over there. Uh, I think it was a lapis. I think it was lapis and coal, yeah. Um, we actually did this on stream, so be sure to check us out on Twitch if you haven't already. Um, the only other thing I think we've really done of noteworthiness is we made the portal gun. Yes. Yeah. We had some nether stars, so we were able to make these miniature black holes. Yes. And now we can get around with portals. How handy is that? So handy. But we did make this armor last time, and we're quite disappointed. It's not very fast. It moves so quite slowly. We want to get the exosuit armor, and to be honest, it's not that tricky looking. Um, it's quite expensive. It uses a lot of carbon plates, which obviously are made from diamonds and blaze, but I think we can do all this now. So I'm gonna see if I can quickly make our helmets, or chest plates. I don't know why I forgot what chest <laughs> plates were for a second there. The exosuit legging. Oh yeah, this is like a two-stage craft because you gotta make the exosuit leggings and then upgrade. Wait, no. What? You have to make the advanced combat leggings uh, and then you upgrade them. So it's all advanced combat stuff to begin with and then we just upgrade it to the exosuit. Nice. So I'm hoping, if I've not screwed this up, we should both have... What? Oh, if oh okay. I, or I made the chest plate already. Um, My bad. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh. It's so hard to keep track of. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> did I do? I did it for two of them. I upgraded them fully without realizing. <laughs> ah. But it's fine. This is just the last set of boots, and then we should have exo suit armor, and I got the exact right amount of resources. Ooh, nice. Also, like I suggested last episode, I did actually go ahead and make us wardrobes. So this Yay. is Johnny's wardrobe. And now I can put all my power armor gear in here and just carry it around with me if I ever need to go to the nether or something. Yeah. So I don't know if this needs power. This needs power as well. So I shouldn't have picked up my wardrobe quite yet because yeah. there is energy cells in there, which is quite handy. So that's just fully powered my armor. Nicely done. And now it's not as fast as I was hoping for. No. It's faster, but it's not as fast as I was hoping for. Uh, that's kind of a shame. I thought it was going to be like crazy OP, but I have yours. I don't know if you... Um, um, if you meet me in the new factory, I will be there in a second. In the new factory. Oh, yes. the newest factory. Newest yes. factory. Yes. Lawrence is currently setting us up a better supply of lava. Yes. Because <laughs> he managed to burn through all of the lava. Oh. Use making incendiary oh. ammo. You know what you always forget to do. Did you not quit? Oh my god, this is like the first time ever. I, I skipped and you didn't. No. So now we're going to have to fight an invasion, even though it's not my fault for a change. Yep. What? Where are you? You're, you're here. I'm in the basement. Okay, well, here is your power armor. Hopefully it doesn't fall in the lava. Please don't just chuck it at me. Why not? Because I don't have enough inventory room. Well, I do. There you go. Actually, you're fine. You got you got everything now? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. But um, depending on how bad this invasion is, maybe we'll be able to get started anyway. I don't actually see anything. I hear mobs. I hear turrets going. Sorry, I hear turrets. That's what I meant. But I don't see any mobs, which is um, confusing. A couple of red dots on my map, but nothing really. Yeah, it's fine. I'm just going to go home, and I'm just going to fire my portal up there so that nothing can use my portal to get to us. Well, get to me I anyway. I don't think... Things, I don't think mobs are smart enough to realize what portals do. Oh, okay, but well, oh, maybe. Hello. Hello. I, I have found someone. What kind of invasion is it? Uh, if it said alien swarm, but that looks very much like a military man. Ah, I do not like the military man. Um, but whilst I'm here, I am going to take off my old armor and pop on my new one. Yeah, and hopefully you've got energy cells on you. Uh, I should do. Oh, yeah. I do see some in your inventory. But I think the other thing we wanted to get working on today was digital storage, because it doesn't look too far away now. We yeah. just need Advanced Electronics 3 and Crystal Processing. So I think Crystal Processing is in Processing, conveniently. Should be, yes. And this is just a whole lot of research, so let me just grab a few stacks of each thing, 
and we can have a look. So growing and purifying crystals provides access to even more advanced technology, unlocks the advanced rocketry crystallizer. That sounds interesting. Uh, yeah, it does. Um, I don't know if we should just go whole hog and get straight to... So it was automation three was the other thing. That's 400 of each science. It wasn't automated three. It's advanced circuits three. Oh, was it? Yeah. We already unlocked advanced... automation three. Oh, advanced electronics three is what I'm looking at. Yeah, you said automation three. Well, I knew what I meant. I don't know which colors I'm missing. So I'll just grab everything again. Just a little bit of blue. There we go. And now let's see what this one unlocks. It is continual improvements to the circuits and provides the precision assembler. This research is also a requirement for nanotechnology and space exploration. The precision assembler is a multi-block from advanced rocketry. Ooh. And I do kind of want to look at this for a second. So I think we can actually start making the other circuits now in the advanced rocketry machine. I believe so. Ah, it does not show up in here. That's annoying. Oh wait, uh, is this a relog? Back in a second. Aha, a relog seems to have done the job. So yeah, you can either make these in the fluid assemblers with two elite circuits and 20 advanced, or li literally half that in Ooh. the precision assembler. Um, I'm wondering if that's the same. I don't know, so it's different resources. So we need Electrum if we're going for the advanced control circuits in that machine. Uh, okay, that's not too bad. I guess. Yeah, I'm kind of tempted by the the elite control circuits. It's what? the same recipe, but again, half the resources and oh, okay. no sulfuric acid. Oh, no sulfuric acid. So I think nice. that's something we're definitely going to want to look at. But anyway, that's not what we're doing just now. We're looking into digital storage, which is another 400 of everything. Oh man, let me. Uh, it's a good thing we've got a stockpile. We do have a reasonable stockpile, at least. There we go. I didn't pick up any of the yellow, apparently. No. It should be on the floor. Okay, I'm just not walking over it. There we go. Detect. Claim. Done. So I don't know how far into digital storage this will actually get us. I don't know if there's multiple... Um, well, there's quite a lot of things we need to unlock. But this says, Ultimate Logistic System provides basic ability to store items digitally digitally in a computer system and locks many items from applied energistics too with storage only on 1k drives ah so, so we won't be able to store a lot i guess uh so oh yeah my keyboard's decided to be american and now i can't search because it changes your keyboard layout yay Woo. so me drive is made from iron engineers process so we are going to need a precision assembler and silicon wafers so i think that because that's basically for um, the all the circuits are going to be in there. I'm guessing we yeah. might as well just go ahead and and set up our first precision assembler. Oh, okay. So let's see if we can find the hollow projector, which I still have in here, handy. And shift right click precision assembling machine. Click, scroll up so we get the whole thing at once. There we go. We're gonna need a few things. So let I don't see anything new. So let us just quickly grab all this stuff and we should be able to set up a precision assembler. So it's hard to tell if we've got the stuff, but we might have the stuff. So Maybe. we're gonna Did I just click that in the exact right place? Well, I mean it's a four by three, so I would have turned it around. And we have the precision assembler on the front, so that sounds good to me. Yes. Um, which I thought I made. I didn't make. No. Oh, I picked God. up the stuff. Is there still a work table over here? No. Okay, well, if I chuck the rest of this stuff to you, maybe you could get building this. Yep. And I, I I'll probably need some of that for the precision assembler, don't I? Probably. Just one bit. Where are you? I'm right behind you. Okay. Well, I couldn't see you. Okay, if you can set up the precision assembler, I will go quickly. Oh, wait, 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 I'm an idiot. Are you? We have portals. We do have portals. I can just portal home. There we go. So I have the assembler itself, at least. Oh, hey. the blueprints disappeared. That's annoying. No. Can I click it back on? No, it totally goes in a different place now. No. Oh well. <laughs> I will put down the precision assembler and then I'll probably complain that there's not the right blocks. Yes, it totally does. So another thing here is we need uh, engines. Motors. motors sorry. Yes. 
And at the moment, we only have the first tier, but I think we can get to the top tier. So the titanium coils, I think you've just made some. Yep. Are ridiculously easy. The titanium alumide, aluminide rods even, they're pretty easy. We just need to put some of the alumide dust in the arc furnace, and I believe we made this last time in one of these assemblers. Yep, yep. so let's chuck through some of this just because we can. There we go. That's us making some of that stuff. Uh, I don't know how much we need. I didn't actually look. So it's it's going to be... Oh, it's just one. We literally just need one I per motor. I we needed two. Ah, okay. That mode. Oops. Okay, so I'll take two of them. And then the, obviously the bit I'm kind of ignoring is the uranium plate. Yes. So this actually doesn't look too hard. So it's made from uranium-238, which we can get from crushing yellow cake. So, I mean, I can just crush some yellow cake. That seems easy enough, does it not? Um, can we not just use the uranium ingot from a massive engineering? How do we get that? Uh, smelting uranium ore. Do we have any? Oh, no, we don't. No. Yep. Okay. Ignore me. Yep. Uh, I'll just go back to ignoring you. Um, <laughs> so we should still have a supply of yellow cake over here, hopefully. Well, there's 63. I'm sure that'll be enough to get us going, at least. Yep. Um, I almost feel like I'm not using this portal gun nearly enough. I should be taking more advantage of it, but I'm just not. <laughs> it's because I really like having one at home. I'm kind of thinking maybe we should almost make like another one. Mm. So we always can have a portal at home and then use one for like quick travel in between places. Maybe. Oh yeah, totally forgot. Another thing we did on stream. This now uses item ducts. Oh yeah. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> totally forgot about that. And now I can use the portal to get home. Even though this time I don't want to go home. I want to go to that factory, I forgot. But we should eventually... I'm just going to have to wait on it because it'll take a second to get here. But eventually we should get uranium in this chest. So we'll jump back when we've got some of that. Oh, and so it begins. Our first uranium 238. That's pretty exciting, I think. Yeah. So we're going to need two motors and each motor needs two plates. So how many do we get? One and get to one plate. And I think we're just gonna go for the smelting. Yeah, so yeah. If we just smelt four of these. That's actually it. That's that's quite easy, I think. I didn't even check if this poisons you, but it looks like it doesn't, so that is oh, well that's good. That is good. <laughs> um I don't Yeah, I don't know why our only furnace is still all the way over here. <laughs> it's mm. I suppose it's okay, it's just a bit annoying. Um, I don't know if we're going to have a plate press. I, I mean, I guess there'll be a plate press somewhere we can use. This yep. is slow. I'm just going to jump back to the plate press, I think. <laughs> so we have the uranium, and we should be able to just make some plates here. And Lawrence has some titanium alumine to yep. make some rods, so that's uh, pretty I'm exciting. stealing one of the casts, uh, the presses. Because we've got one, set, a manual one set up for gears, but not rods. Oh, it doesn't matter if the chest in the middle is full, so it won't actually do anything with them. Oh. Oh, no, you need a rod one. Yeah, yep. you need to change the play. I don't know if it would work in the rolling machines. I never actually looked at that. The lathe scene. Um, Man, this thing Yes, is yes, it would. It's just as much of a pain, to be honest, because it's full of stuff, because it keeps getting auto-supplied. Yeah, uh, oh, well. I think it'll be easier in the other one. <laughs> I'm still going to give it a try. But, okay, do we have, do we have the four rods that we need? Uh, we've got eight. Yes. Awesome. So now we should be able to make some more. Wait, can we? No, nope, because I also need enough. Wait, you've got all the stuff, don't you? Uh, yes. Okay, well, there we go. That's got all the stuff. I'll take your jerry can out for some reason that's in there. Probably because <laughs> I've never picked it up. I forgot. Um, we did play with the planes on a stream as well. They were not very great and polluted quite a lot. I didn't notice we got a pedestal. Oh, yeah. We got a silicon wafer belt. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, but I forgot the actual motors. So there you go. There's two elite motors. Uh, now if I help through. I don't see. All right. Ah, uh, that's not the right portal that goes to the farm. <laughs> pop them down and boop, boop. Uh, remember, turn it on. I've just realized I put the input in probably the most annoying place. Well, they're all coming up from underneath, so it doesn't yeah, really matter. Yeah, that's true. Did you hook up the pipes? Uh, no, I was doing that, and then you asked me to do something else. So oh, okay. What? You said you were finished setting this up, so I just assumed that yeah, meant you I was were finished, finished setting, setting the machine up. up. Doesn't mean I'd done everything else. <laughs> what do you mean, like, running power doesn't count? No. 
I think that totally counts. No, it does not. Um, why did you put two power plugs in it? Because there are two power plugs. Really? Mm. I thought it was all just alternating just so you could put stuff anywhere. Oh, okay. I'd rather yeah. we just get one, and that way we've got the stuff ready for another machine. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully you've got more machine structures to fill them back in with. Uh, yep. And I think it should work. I, I may be wrong. But I got the impression it was cycling through them all. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. So we can get away just like that. And then I don't know if I've got any item ducks. I've got 31. That I might have be enough. item ducks. Yeah. <laughs> this is not working. We're not very good at teamwork. Yep. No, so I've totally <laughs> just disconnected that because we uh, haven't filtered it. Yeah, well, you, it's connected again now. And it wasn't filtered yet. I thought you had done it. No. Oh, well. It's fine. It's and fine. I'm assuming you'd be on a server on that. Yeah, Maybe. No, I'm still not carrying servos, so... Uh, I've got it. If you've got it, that would be cool. Yeah. And this should make us some silicon wafers. Yeah. But we do need some silicon wafers to supply it. Um, I think you said... Oh, actually, there's two things we need. I'm completely forgetting that's not set up at all, is it? Nope. We need silicon... We need to provide it with silicon, and we also need to provide it with sulfuric acid, I think? Um, I think that's what it, you told is me. Is it this? Because there isn't a fluid input. Oh, well, we probably should have put a fluid input on it you then. didn't give me a fluid input. I, I gave you all the resources to make stuff. But I can't make you one because I don't have any machine frames. You've no. got them all. <laughs> I will make a fluid input. Yeah. I think it does, does it not? So, ME... Was it the ME drive we were looking at? Or... Were, yeah, so the, these are made in the precision assembler. The silicon wafer is made in a rolling machine. Why have we made a precision assembler? I don't know. <laughs> Chips. Uh, yeah, so we do need a precision assembler for the chips. So that's not complete waste, but we actually need to make a rolling machine. So we, we should probably make a rolling machine. Okay, let's grab more machine frame stuff and we'll put down a rolling machine. So it goes, um, we've been getting the stuff together we need to start the silicon wafers first. Um, yes. For that, we need a rolling machine. Um, luckily, I've got all the stuff together before already. Um, it's just some steel gears, user interfaces and plates and advanced control circuits so that wasn't too tricky um yeah, easy yeah so <laughs> uh, if i pop through my portal which i keep forgetting is the red one um i've got this hollow projector and if i just select the rolling machine just a little bit down um yeah uh, it's not too bad i'm just gonna you've left a two space between each yeah, one yeah i think everything has got two space if, if you want to move that over then uh the other the reason we're making this one is, let you say, for the silicon wafers and for them we need the silicon and the sulfuric acid. So we went ahead and also made one of the advanced fluid tanks, um, which is so much better. I don't know why we didn't do this before. It goes from 8,000 bucket, sorry, millibuckets to 128,000. Yeah, which so, is quite uh, nice. Yeah, in bucket mode, you can empty the entire thing at once. Because I do not want to run pipes all the way about quite yet. Now, this is a funny shaped machine. Okay, well, I'm not going to have all the holes in the floor, I guess, anymore. We're not going to have a board around this one, because that's going to look awful. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's, there's holes everywhere in the floor. Okay, we'll just put that back how it was. Yeah. That's a shame. I do like having the border. Maybe we will... Um... No, I don't know. I don't, don't think we can fix that. Yep. So, I have the sulfuric acid. Where um... is the fluid input that you made? Um... Somewhere. I can't um, remember. Fluid oh, input okay, by the that tank. would make sense. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so if I, oh yeah, bucket mode won't let you place stuff. I always forget that. And then fluid duct. I'm gonna need a servo. Um, and now we should have sulfuric acid in here. And I think Lawrence has a bin of silicon, which we yes. accidentally made forever ago. Yep. When we didn't realize the electric furnaces actually needed a glass template in them oh so not yeah mix it and like we just it. ended up smelting a load of sand that's very loud yeah if i pop that down there and if you want to pop on your thing turn that on mm. and that should be going that's so this will make us silicon that's wafers. yeah that's literally just oh that's turning nice. it out now oh well, i am happy with that yep i'm guessing because we're using the titanium and the oh, elite yeah, motor yeah yeah actually i think it tells you the speed boost if you open up yes yeah, speed, speed seven, seven times one. That's, um, that's pretty power, power one times yeah wow. but we're not really keeping up with power well that's not hugely surprising yep. i mean we've only got the basic tier but that's fine so the silicon wafers are used for oh, lots of things apparently 
The Ooh. things we were looking for was the processors, which actually we might not do just now because we can cheat. Oh yeah. I've um, our cheat. mob farm actually has some of these processors already. So I think to get going with applied energistics, the things we're going to need for sure is the energy acceptor, mm -hmm. which is not too tricky. And that's what I'm searching for just now by accident. <laughs> so let me grab these processors that we have. Um, so the energy acceptor needs some quartz glass. I think it's what it's called. So we're going to so. have to make some of that, which I think is just sand and nether quartz. So. I should be able to chuck some of these in the electric furnace. Is that right? Or am I making this up? Uh, I'm doing this from memory. Uh, sand and nether quartz. I can't remember what you were trying to make, to be honest. Uh, I was trying to make quartz glass. I think so, yeah. Oh, none right. of these furnaces are going to have two holes, are they? I oh, know there's these ones have two holes. I always forget about our beautiful glass ones. So if I put them in there, does that process? Missing input item. You might need nether quartz dust. Is it? I thought I said it was... I, nope. I could have sworn it was the other Just one. the dust. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I made tons of the dust. Oh, okay. Um, so I'd already... I went and crushed a load of nether quartz, so we have all this dust to hand. I just thought this one... Ooh. I really need to restart my game. It's getting pretty laggy for some reason. Yeah. Which furnace did I put these in? This one. So we put the dust in there, hopefully. Yeah, that starts processing. I'm assuming this will go somewhere. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blacklist glass in this one as well because now that we've tweaked it, it won't actually make glass. It'll make silicon, which is fine if we're trying to make silicon. Yeah, but we don't want to accidentally make all our silicon. So does that go somewhere? I forget how this factory works. Oh yeah, that's no, that's copper. Uh, Where is the stuff I'm making? Oh oh oh, there we go. I saw some coarse glass go up. That is exciting. So I do quite like the texture of coarse glass. Yeah, so the other thing we need is the titanium alumide and the flux crystals. So the alumide looks easy enough. That's just metal pressing a titanium ingot. I don't know why we would use the rolling machine. I guess it's faster, but I would rather not waste the faster. lubricant. I don't know. But, um, and then we also need a crystallizer, which I think Lawrence has got and started setting up. Yes, maybe? so uh, I have already started setting this up over awesome. here. Also, I didn't realize that the gears turn on this. That's quite cool. Um, oh, well. But I need to actually make the block. So for the crystallizer, which I don't have saved anymore, um, <laughs> and I can't spell crystal either. So this is off to a brilliant start. But um, So this is quite simple again. It's just titanium, uh, titanium alumide and some gears. So that's all quite easy. But the other thing this needs are the quartz uh, crucibles, which... Okay. We've never been made before, but it's just wrapping some nether quartz around a cauldron. So, literally, just crafting that as, like, so... But you only need six of those, so it's not too bad. Oh, and I made an advancement. Crystalline. Nice. Craft a crystallizer. Well, I haven't crafted a crystallizer yet. Yeah, you've crafted the actual multi-block, like, controller -y bit. Yeah, I guess. Um, but if I just pop these down, so they should complete Whilst you're doing that, I'm going to grab us some of that titanium alumide and convert it into plates. Yep. Man, I still forget about this portal gun every single time. <laughs> I will get used to it eventually. Maybe. Maybe. Probably. Eventually. <laughs> but, yeah, so I don't think we'll need a crazy amount of this. So the, the energy acceptor also needs flux crystals, and we kind of skipped over them, but they are made in a crystallizer, which is why Lawrence is making that. But they also need charged Cerdus Quartz, which uh, does appear in the world. I don't know if it does in this pack or not, but you should also be able to make it from normal Cerdus Quartz, which you can also make in a crystallizer. And I'm hoping putting them through a charging station, because that's how it... Sorry, a charger, because that's how it works in normal applied energy sticks. sticks. Yep. And I'm just hoping it works the same in this. I Hopefully. mean, why wouldn't it? So I think we can actually just go ahead and make that. I've got all the stuff on me now. There is a crystal. I uh, know. A charger. <laughs> and how is the crystallizer coming along? The crystallizer has been made. It is now powered. Oh, awesome. So I just need to grab us uh, some sand and we can see if it works. Let's see. No. I'm coming through the red portal. That was the right one, right? I think actually, I think I could have went through either there. Oh, this is a weirder ship than I was expecting. It's a uh, three by two. Oh, okay, so, so I've turned it around. Two sand in there, and somehow I've only got sixty-two nether quartz rather than 
Uh, do you need to have a dedicated input hatch for each? Is now what I'm... No, no, no. It's you just, just need to turn it on. Oh, yeah, these stupid machines. Yep. Oh, yeah, so that's, that's, that's making Sarah's quarks. Yeah, that's quite cool. I quite like that animation. That is quite cool. Uh, most of these machines are quite cool. So is there somewhere I can just boot your power from for a second? Yes. Uh, yes, there. Here. So I don't know if this will work. I'm hoping it does. Oh, well, there we go. It's got more power now as well. <laughs> can we just chuck these in? Does it even have power? Do you need to power it from the top? I think it's connected. Oh, no, no, no it did work. Oh, yeah, it did work. Took okay. a second. So this is obviously terrible. I was just mainly checking if that works. Yes. And it does. So how's about we go set this up somewhere? Actually, we should probably set it up in here, I guess. Yeah, I would say here. I think as well, we're going to need bins for this or something because it, there is only an inventory of like one and the, the the charger can only hold one thing at a time. Yes. So we need somewhere to, to actually, you know, have more than that. So you want it here? Uh, yes, I do. And I'm mm. hoping... I would have moved it back one, but okay. Okay, it's in line with the center then this way. That's yeah, why I put it there. It's like against the back of the wall if you do it the other one. No. Well, oh, come on. Why are always the bins I pick up <laughs> fully crap? Like, I went through and made so many bins and still all these are fully rubbish. Um, So if I put that there, then we can put this there. Then we're going to want to filter this so that it only extracts charged crystals. Whitelist, always active. And then we just are going to need to supply this with other ones. Yep. Um, is there even flux ducts over here? And by that, I mean fluid ducts, obviously. Uh, I've got some. I'm hoping you have some, because I don't have nearly enough fluid to get Fluid ducts or flux ducts? Flu item ducts. Item ducts. Oh, yeah. I've got item ducts. Awesome. Well, that's that whitelisted. So if you hook up that one, I'll make sure that's hooked up on the output over here. Unless you've already done that. No. Oh, you did. Did I? You just didn't turn it on. But yeah, it's already yeah, okay. hooked up. So the Cerdis court should automatically all things considered, get sent over to our charger into this charging bin, which are you also hooking up? Uh, no, oh, no, that's got a glowstone block under it. Well, it's not letting out any light anyway, is it? So True. I'm guessing it can't let out light past that. Nope. And then we just put a servo on here, and now this will be able to supply our charged Cerdis Quartz crystals, once there is some charged. And we need to check this actually works, because I don't I'm guessing item ducks work with this because, you know, they have connected. Yeah, I would say. But I don't know. So that should hopefully, assuming I have actually set a filler, I'm pretty sure I have. That's sent for whitelist normal service quartz, which should get sent from here. I don't know if I've seen seen any. Um, Is this even connected up? Yes. Yes. Okay. Is the server on? I will trust you that this is going to eventually fail. We will wait on that for now, because we don't need that this... Well, I mean, we sort of need that this very second. But I will put the one charged... Oh, I've got 11 charged. No, I've got 11 normal. There's a charged. Beautiful. Let's put some Ceres Quartz in there, see if this even works. It does. So now that we have a couple of Ceres Quartz, we can make the Fluix Crystals. We don't have that much yet, but we have enough that we can at least try them. Yep. So, well, I say try them. Yeah, there we go. That's making them awesome. And now that means we can make our energy acceptor, I think. Woo. Hopefully. I should have everything. I did set some titanium alumide plates back at home. So it should just be a case of shift, not shift clicking. I do not want to craft all of them. <laughs> but we have an energy acceptor. And now... Now I guess we want to go for a drive? Yeah, I would assume so. Oh, we're going to need Fluix dust. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I forgot about that. Okay, did I pick up any extra? I've got an extra five. Do we think that'll be enough? Mm, that might be. just be enough. I, I, I don't know. If you want to go fetch some more, actually, and chuck in a crusher, that would be cool. There should uh, be more. Fluix, right? Yeah, there should be more in the actual yep. machine thing. I don't know if this is even quicker. Oh, yeah, because Lawrence's portal will be here. Much faster. Unnatural. What did you do? I picked up Flux right. Crystals. Oh, okay. Don't open chat. That apparently crashy. Well, like froze my game. Yeah. Um. Do we have just like a input, manual input for these or just chuck them in one? 
Oh, we've just been chucking them in one. There is sort of a manual input, but it's miles away. Yeah, so it's just easier up. to put them in. Um, so now we got that, we're going to need to make some ME glass cables, of course, which also need Fluix, so hopefully you didn't do them all. Mm, you totally did them all, didn't you? Them all. Okay. Well, I will that's, quickly uh, make some more. Oh, okay. It's okay. We have another 34 charge Certus, so that seems to be doing its thing just now. That's cool. Nice. Um, I don't think this machine's too slow either. So basically the crystal cables are made from the quartz fiber, which is glass and nether quartz dust. So we can do that easy enough. Uh, let's see, quartz fiber. Yeah, I probably do want to make that much. Then these, I probably don't need that many just now. Actually, I'll just make four for now. Uh, the actual, the, the terminal that we're going to make. We need some glowstone, redstone, iron. That's all easy enough. Yep. Oh, we have no glowstone here. Uh, there's glowstone dust uh, on the wall. Okay, I should be able to find that, hopefully, then. I just need to find the stupid red How much do you need? Two. If you just no. chuck it at me, that would be cool. Well, I did, but you don't have your magnet on. Okay, let me turn on my magnet. Now, if you chuck it at me... Did you chuck it at me? I did. I chucked some glowstone dust at you. There we go. So, for the, the rest of these components, we need the annihilation core and the formation core, which is why we need the Fluix dust. So hopefully we've got some of that now back in our factory. Okay, so now we should be able to make the annihilation core, which is nether quartz Fluix dust and a logic processor. So uh, there's okay. the Fluix dust. Did I seriously not have any nether quartz? Oh, no, there we go. I thought I'd forgot the nether quartz. Ooh. There we go, that should be that, that one there done. Quick. Well, this is fully upgraded as well, is it not? Yep, so this one those. There it is. Logic and I'm guessing this one needs a quartz dust. Uh, what's different about this one? Oh, the other. Okay, yeah. Did I? Which one did I just make? Uh, annihilation. Okay. Mm I clearly am screwing this up somehow. Hopefully, uh, that's the other one. Yep. Two formation ones. Oh, okay. I got them. Cool. Well, now we should be able to use them to make something I totally keep forgetting what we're trying to make. Uh, so this... terminal? Oh, yeah, this is for the terminal. Yes. Do you want to give me them and I can make us a terminal? Yep. Oh, wait. You checked them. There we go. Yep. And you've got the other ones. I've what? I forgot them, man. You said you chucked them. I did, and you've just hopped through. Right, I've popped them in this workbench. I don't use the workbench. The workbench is awful now. I have gave up on the workbench. Uh, tough. Okay, so there we go. We can make our first ME terminal, and now we should be able to make an ME drive. I just need four iron. This is getting pretty close. I feel like it's getting pretty close. Ooh, be exciting. There's an ME drive, and now our first 1K thing. Oh my god, we just need... Do we seriously just need these? This is pretty exciting. Some basic control circuits. One MK. One MK drive storage. Okay, I should really have just picked up a stack of iron. I don't know why I didn't do that. There we go. Because it's... What? I, I, I'm I, an idiot. Okay, there's some redstone as well. <laughs> now we can make a drive. Awesome. So now we just need power. And the most beautiful place for this whole system is going to be there. Yeah. So we got our energy acceptor. And then we have our ME drive. Then we can put our 1K storage in there. We can put on an ME glass cable. And are you ready? Yep. ME terminal. Yay! Boom, 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 boom. Oh. <laughs> okay, uh, that, that uses too much power. That apparently uses too much power. It's 1k RF is too much power? What? Yeah. Okay. So one of the one of the main things we're gonna need to get very, very soon then I guess is one we're gonna need to upgrade our upgrade our flux ducks. But we'll need to get these energy cells, which are really easy. Okay, let me just make an energy cell quickly, because I have the stuff in my resources. So basically this gives the ME network a buffer. And I should change color as it charges up. I think it is slowly getting brighter. Yeah. Maybe. So now you should hopefully build... Yeah, now I can shift stacks in at a time. Boom, look at that. Beautiful. So Beautiful. Pretty. Oh, I'm so happy. So yeah, I guess in between episodes, what we're probably going to do is start converting some of our stuff over to Applied Energistics. Well, the storage, because 
This yeah. is messy. And even maybe trying to hook up some of this. I don't know. I don't know. We're, we're going to do our best to like get storage a bit better sorted out. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode. We got our first step into digital storage. So Ooh. hope you enjoyed the episode. Be sure to hit that like button if you did. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.